endoscopically assisted suturectomy for scaphocephaly. At birth, the skull is composed of separate skull bones that are connected with skull sutures. The sutures are the growing sites of the skull. One of these sutures is the sagittal suture, running in between the frontal and posterior fontanelle. Premature closure of the sagittal suture prohibits skull growth to the sides, resulting in an elongated, narrow skull shape. This is called scaphocephaly. There is a risk for insufficient volume for the brain, and thus a skull expansion is indicated. An endoscopically assisted suturectomy is a type of surgical procedure that can be used to treat scaphocephaly in children up to the age of six months. The goal of this procedure is to open up the suture that has closed too early to restore the growth potential of the skull. During surgery, two skin incisions are made in the hair-bearing area. Skull bone is removed from underneath both skin incisions. Then, a small tube with a camera, called an endoscope, is inserted between the skull bone and the dura. The dura is a layer of tissue that protects the brain. As the endoscope is advanced, the dura is detached from the inside skull bone and the space in between can be inspected with the camera. Under direct vision of the endoscope camera, the top middle part of the skull bone is removed. This opens up the prematurely closed sagittal suture, restoring the potential for skull growth to the sides. Then, four triangular shaped pieces of skull bone at the sides of the top of the head are removed as separate pieces. This helps facilitate the skull bone's outward growth. Then, the skin incisions are closed. Approximately one to two weeks after surgery, children will start helmet molding therapy. This lasts several months and is used to help guide skull growth. 